Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, we continue our look at the Lost World toys by Kenner. The figure we are looking at today is the Cyclops Velociraptor, and its repaints. Before we begin, if you've been enjoying these videos, feel free to subscribe. Here's a quick look at the packaging of the Cyclops Raptor, where you can see its capture gear, which I do not have from my loose version. The Cyclops Raptor was released in 1997 and retailed for $4.99. This is a figure that I will forever associate with my brother, as he got this raptor and I got the other Lost World raptor for Christmas when we were younger. So this is among the first Jurassic Park toys that I got in my collection, and probably one that I have the most duplicates of, as it was a common figure in the US. This raptor stands about 3.5 inches tall, and is about 9.5 inches long from head to tail. It's in a more dynamic pose than most of Kenner's Lost World dinosaurs. It's sort of leaning down low, like it's getting ready to attack something. I quite like how different it is from the other regular sized raptor in this line. It doesn't really resemble the raptors in the movie, and almost feels like it's a character with its own backstory, kind of like the evil raiders from the series 2 line from the first film. There's tons of signs of conflict this raptor had in the past, from its numerous scars to its blank blind eye, hence the Cyclops raptor nickname. There's also a rather painful looking detail on its tail, with the last part being really bent, like the bone was broken and then healed back that way. It's a really cool sculpt in this regard. This raptor clearly has been through a lot. Unfortunately, due to this dynamic pose, its playability is limited. It reminds me a lot of what we would see in the Jurassic Park 3 line by Hasbro. Its mouth can't be closed, and it has difficulty standing in anything other than its leaning posture. It also has an issue with the legs bending inwards over time so many of mine have to rely on the left hand to stand correctly. That said, all the previously mentioned details are fantastic and make up for it not being a figure that you can put in a lot of different poses. The main color of this raptor is a dark green, with white paint and a stripe pattern going along its head, back, tail, and legs. There's also white paint used for its fingernails and toenails, Looking at the head, one eye is painted yellow with a red pupil, while the other is left completely white. This is the only version of this figure that would feature the one eye being blank, to go along with the Cyclops nickname. The repaints would do away with this. Inside the mouth, the teeth are painted white and the tongue is painted red. It's also worth noting the JP mark is on its leg, and it's painted yellow, the number being 13, a fitting number for a raptor that looks like it's had some bad luck. Articulation is pretty straightforward on this figure. The arms and legs can move and the tail and the head can move from side to side. This is part of the action feature. This figure features a basic action feature, one in which you move the tail back and forth. This will cause the head to move from side to side and give it a thrashing action. It's basically a scaled down version of the Thrasher T-Rex's action feature. In between this figure and its first repaint, this figure was set to appear in the cancelled Chaos Effect Night Hunter series, in 1999. This version would feature the same pattern, though now it would glow in the dark and was painted yellow and black. The first released repaint for this figure would occur in the Walmart exclusive Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line in 1999. This figure would retail for $5.99 and include the same capture gear as the Lost World version. Its paint job is similar in that it follows the same pattern along its upper body and legs, only using different colors. Most of the figure is painted gray and green, its fingernails and toenails are left unpainted, unlike the original version. Both eyes are painted yellow, with black pupils, and inside the mouth the teeth are painted white, and the tongue painted red. Its JP mark is on its leg again, where, like almost all the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs figures, it's just a JP logo, without any number. It's also worth noting this repaint also saw a release by Hasbro in Mexico, but in the Jurassic Park 3 packaging.
The next repaint would occur in the Jurassic Park 3 line, where it would be featured in the Walmart exclusive Dino tracking set, costing $14.99. I believe this is the only time older Kenner sculpts were used in the Jurassic Park 3 line, both of the dinosaurs in this set coming from the Lost World line. The paint job on the Raptor doesn't really resemble its Jurassic Park 3 film counterpart, other than the blue stripe starting around its head and going down its neck. That said, this is a much better paint job than the previous two attempts. It features gray and brown and black paint, all covering different areas of the head, body, legs, and tail. The toenails and fingernails are painted this time, with all of them being painted black. Looking at the head, its eyes pop quite nicely, with black paint surrounding the red eyes with black pupils. Inside the mouth, the teeth are painted white, and the tongue and gums are painted pink. The Jurassic Park 3 mark can be found on its leg. Last but not least for the repaints is the repaint for the second Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line. It released in 2004 and retailed exclusively at KB Toys for $7.99. Like the previous set, this one included a human figure along with it. This is also a very different paint job from the original two releases, sporting mostly dark green, light green, and white. The scars this time are painted red, like a fresh wound, and contrast nicely with the darker green on this figure. The toenails and fingernails are painted black, and there's also some black paint around its wounds, and stripes along its back. Moving to the head, the eyes are painted red with black pupils, and black paint surrounds each eye. Inside its mouth, the gums are painted black, the teeth white, and the tongue pink. The white painted JP mark can be found on its leg. As far as rarity goes, each one of these figures varies quite a bit. The original release is the most common of the four. Loose versions can be had for $15 to $20 loose, and $30 to $40 boxed, sometimes more. I just want to make a quick note that in the past year, prices have climbed a bit on a lot of the vintage Jurassic Park stuff. I'm not sure if this is temporary or not. My older videos are probably off now on the price guide. The 1999 Jurassic Park Dinosaurs release is harder to find. Loose samples go in the $20 to $40 range, with box versions going anywhere from $80 or more. The Jurassic Park 3 Raptor is quite rare, as this set was Walmart exclusive. A loose version can be had between $25 to $40 while a box version may go from 150 to 200 they don't show up very often. Like the previous two, the final repaint, which appeared in the second Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line, is also hard to find, with it being a KB Toys exclusive. Loose prices are probably similar to the previous one, in that $20 to $40 range, and box versions going for $60 or more. As always, these prices are not official. You can always find them for more or less. Before I give my rating for these figures, here's a comparison with other figures. Here it is with the Kenner 4 inch human and a Mattel 3 and 3 quarter scale human. Here it is with the other regular sized Velociraptor in this line. Here it is with the Carnotaurus. And finally, here it is with the Thrasher T-Rex. For a rating out of 10, I give the first release an 8, the second a 7, the third an 8, and the fourth a 9. I really like the paint job in the last repaint. The green and the white look really cool together. If the price and rarity is an issue, I would definitely just recommend the original release, as it's still a cool looking paint job. I also want to add that I asked my brother what version of the Raptor he preferred, 
and he also picked the green one. So that one gets both of our recommendations. And that does it for the Kenner Lost World Cyclops Velociraptor. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.